Hey guys, this is Femurai91, and I'm talking about E3. Now, you guys remember E3 this year wasn't as, I want to say, packed as it usually is, it seems. Apparently, they had a low attendance compared to previous years. And apparently, the ESA is trying to rebrand E3 as a fan media influencer festival. Okay, here's the thing. I understand E3 has gone through some changes, like how they allowed all public to kind of just go to E3 if you pay for a ticket, as opposed to just allowing people in the industry. And yes, I also know that people have kind of said E3 has lost some of its relevancy since people leak and people, let's face it, people now with the whole new digital age, they just reveal a lot of things throughout the year instead of just packing it into the E3 convention. But E3 is still very relevant in my opinion. E3 has surprised many people, I believe, every year, despite all the leaks. So to go through like a major change, I'm not sure if that's the best thing for E3. It may do well, but I'm just not sure. Apparently they want to have like celebrities doing stuff like they say the Los Angeles Lakers playing a basketball video game in front of fans or actors competing in a tournament. I'm like, no, 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 why? I would not want to see actors or Los Angeles Lakers playing the games like that. I would rather see people who are actually good at the games, like maybe E-League gamers playing the games. That would be better in my opinion. I'm not into all these celebrities like just appearing just to, for the sake of appearing. And yes, I know Keanu Reeves, thing from this year's E3 was pretty popular. It actually went viral. And yes, it was cool. When I was watching that live, that was very cool to have Keanu Reeves appear on stage, especially after being introduced as a character in the game. But in my opinion, those things should only happen sparingly. They shouldn't be something that you keep doing. Like maybe bring on one or two celebrities each year for like a surprise appearance, not bring on a bunch of them each year just to try to get more people to show up. Also, you can't count this year's E3 really because Sony didn't show up. You can't base, oh, E3 is dying based on what happened this year. Sony wasn't there. So a lot of people would show up at E3, I believe, didn't show up because Sony wasn't there. So maybe wait till next year, 2020's E3, before going through a massive change and see the attendance group because I'm pretty sure Sony will be there because they're probably gonna have a lot of PS5 stuff to announce. So it just makes sense to me if you're gonna go through this main change, maybe wait till after next year. I mean, Codename Xbox Scarlet and PS5 are supposedly coming out next year. And those usually bring, I think, a lot of people to E3. Whenever there are new consoles coming out, I feel like a lot more announcements are there and most likely a lot more people show up because of said new console announcements. But what do you guys think about this change for E3? And would this actually bring you there if they had like celebrities doing tournaments or whatnot let me know in the comments below thanks for watching like and subscribe may god bless you all